Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen's Budget Meals. Today we're going to be making some beef bourguignon. Now the ingredients only cost me $10.50, it serves six. So per portion it's only going to cost you $1.75. So let's get started. He's got budget meal Mondays, what you want Wednesdays, fast food Fridays, what else could he share? It's Nico's Kitchen where satisfying meals are prepared. So before we get started on our beef bourguignon, I just wanted to say with this dish, you're going to need a casserole dish that is oven proof and stove top proof. Now, if you don't have a casserole dish and if you can't get hold of one you could use a pan with a lid because the lid is going to be very important in this dish because it's going to keep everything moist and juicy so the first thing that we're going to be putting in to the casserole dish is just some olive oil and the beef that we're going to be putting in is some gravy beef and the reason why I'm using gravy beef is because it's really really succulent when cooked for longer it's going to be very tender and juicy now we don't want to cook the beef. All I want to do at this stage is just sear on the outside. So on a medium to high heat, it's only going to need about one and a half minutes. So once we've browned off our meat, what I want you to do now is take the beef out. Now that we've browned off our beef, we're going to start browning off the other ingredients of the dish. So again, no more olive oil in there because we've already got that olive oil from the beginning. The first thing I'm going to be putting in this time is some bacon that I've just roughly chopped up into chunks. Next I'm going to be putting in some onions that I've just cut up into quarters. Next is some carrots that I've just cut up into chunks again. Some garlic cloves. And some mushrooms that I've just sliced up as well. And just give that a good stir around. Now just keep stirring this around on a medium to high heat. We're just looking at just browning off slightly those bacon and vegetables. So after five minutes guys of cooking those vegetables and the bacon I'm now going to add back in our beef. Next I'm going to be adding in just a small amount of flour and this will thicken up our gravy later on in the dish. So just give it a stir. Now essential to the beef bourguignon is some red wine and I'm using a Merlot for this and I'm just going to be pouring some over the beef and the vegetables. And after the wine, I'm going to be adding in some beef stock. Now guys, the last thing we're going to do before we put this into the oven is I'm going to be putting in some herbs. Now what I've got here is I've got some rosemary, some basil and some thyme. And I've wrapped them up together and all I want you to do is just bury that straight in the middle. So we're going to put the lid on. <coughs> now this goes into a preheated oven at 170 degrees C and we're going to pop it in there for two hours, nice and slow, and all those vegetables will be so tender and that beef will just be falling apart. So we've just pulled out our beef bourguignon and it is smelling fantastic. And all I'm doing now is just pulling out some of those stalks of the thyme and the rosemary. And the smell is just fantastic. So let's plate this bad boy up. So there you have it, the beef bourguignon. The smell is just absolutely wonderful. It is so sexy. So let's get stuck in. That beef just pulls off. It's just like cutting through butter. Yum oh, let's get stuck in. Oh. It's beautiful. So tender. Mm. And the vegetables have just really come through with that flavor. Now you could serve it up just how it is with some crusty bread or you could also have a side of potato mash. As always the ingredients are below. Check it out and please give this one a go. You will not be disappointed I guarantee it. You guys take care and I'll see you this Wednesday for what you want Wednesday. So if you've got a recipe request make sure you get it into my Twitter or Facebook. So until then take care.